so you're on the point. Ah, so now that you've already got another design competition going on for the XC2V. Yeah, that's in development right now. What is this? Oh my God, that is a, that looks like it's from Call of Duty or something this like that. This is really exciting. This so is a military vehicle. The U.S. government came to us and said, we love what you do, and the biggest problem in winning wars today and making mission is that it takes too long for us to get mission-critical vehicles out there. Really? And so, uh, um, so basically they said, can you help us design and develop a vehicle quickly? And we said, sure. And so, effectively, what we're doing, we're working for the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency here. If you click that DARPA? Top, yeah, if you click the top link. Actually, also known as DARPA. Also known as also DARPA. Also known as the people who created the Internet. Yes. There are some others that have claimed, but this is the one that actually did it. And the UAV and the GPS standard. What you're seeing here is actually the math that we're working on right now. This is CAD two. drawings. This is CAD drawings. Wow. And so, this is what Local Motors is about. It's the real live stuff wow. about uh, what it takes to be able to make a vehicle. And you're seeing the whole process from a sketch on a piece of paper to the the finished vehicle. Now, wait a second. The military is going to build a vehicle that could possibly be deployed. Yes. That is built by some guy in Romania and this other guy in Texas and just all over the world. You're right. I mean, and people say the military is like so far behind or something like that or we're not like advanced. I mean, this is the most advanced thing I can think that the military could do would be to crowdsource a vehicle and let a third party company fabricate it to, to get it there. That's right. I think basically the very bold DARPA at this point, the director of DARPA has a very bold vision about the fact that perhaps our greatest vulnerability is that we spend so much money to make military vehicles and we do it. She says very clearly, I'm paraphrasing, is why is it that in corporate America we build and then sell or build and then the customer buys? Yeah. And why is it in military that we buy and then somebody goes out and builds? Yeah. I mean, it's, it just seems average. so wasteful. Yeah. It does. And then they're like, oh yeah, by the way, this plane doesn't actually fly so well. Yeah. And we're over budget or and we're over budget by 4X. But you're stuck with us. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, this could save a ton of money. Exactly. And you could get this vehicle done in under, I mean, you got the other vehicle done in a year, so I'm assuming a year. So that means they're putting up the prize money or the prize? That's right, they're putting up the prize money and they're doing it. And what is the prize money? And so the prize money went to, it's $10,000 of total prizes uh -huh. to the person who came up with the exterior design. Uh -huh. And the first prize winner, a guy named Victor Garcia, uh -huh. um, he's already won, and so this is in development. He won $7,500 and the right to know that Victor Garcia designed this vehicle. And, uh, um, and now this vehicle is not in production, and we would note that if this vehicle did go into production, that Victor would win more money. That's how we ah. do it. So basically, if it's something where um, it is an idea that gets prototyped but not put into production, then there would be one amount of money. And then if somebody actually got a car in production, then it would be more. Wow, and here you are actually making the models. Is that your sure. company making the models? Yeah, well, we have a number of subcontractors. We've got a great got subcontractor, a number of them here in Southern California, actually, that helped us with those models. You've been watching This Week in Startups. To watch the full episode, click here. To check out some other shows from this weekend, click here.